Carro. Hello my Taurus friends, Guiding Halo here. Hope all's going well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys mid-June to the end of the month. Mid-June, mid-July to the end of the month. The Emperor. Organization, logic, structure, and discipline, leadership. Eight of Wands. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. All things happening at once. So, you've taken control. You're putting your foot down and saying enough's enough. And as it does, it creates movement forward. Concerns surrounding money, trying to look at what to invest in, what's going to yield the most profit. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting from this. Five of Swords, we have someone with a heavy mental mind. It's like feeling like I want to win at all costs. This I cannot lose this money. I've got to win. So how do I mentally make this happen? How can I see it? how can I foresee it happening? The problem is if you use your mind like that and try and manipulate circumstances to get to where you want to go instead of allowing a modicum of faith in there, then you even shut the divine's hands off of helping you. An opportunity comes in, which is what I think you're concerned about. You want to take control. You want to take a step of faith on this one. Take a leap of faith. I wonder if you feel like you're being manipulated into giving your money to, to in, and for a circumstance that you very well may not uh, know if you should at this point in time do so. Well, there's even a, either an apology coming to you or a new love opportunity coming to you. This is, could be an apology based on the fact that you feel the way you feel. Oh, someone doesn't have enough... Um, you don't have enough information. I feel as though there will be an apology come to you about this, about the lack of information, because I feel like you've been holding off on investing uh, your time, effort, money into things because there's just not enough information. You're, I th or maybe you're relying on people to show you a way forward that is too. Take it as it resonates. I don't know what it, that is to not what you would look towards as a leader. Events moving at a fast pace. pace. So you have to make that decision at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. There's fear surrounding money. Fear surrounding not having enough to make it through while your money is invested elsewhere it seems there could also be fear surrounding a new job or an opportunity coming your way feeling like you might not be the option that someone wants to take in order to do this and if there's a lot of waiting around and while you're waiting around there's this manipulative energy but it says that events will be moving at a fast pace many things are going to happen all at once looking then you'll need to be looking at your options it's like you've been held in the hangman tree long enough then you'll have options you'll be needing to look at just keep an eye on on illusion the illusion i feel like someone might be trying to paint some sort of illusionary emotional connect around the whole situation and that would be a yes right there the sun card however you will see through it this is also about clarity you will definitely see through it before anything befalls your finances. So what's grounding this energy? If this is an investment thing, should they do it? If this is a uh, waiting to combine your money with another person in a contract, should you do it? We have great happiness here, joy, warmth. Things move in a fast way. Illusion is gone. All things are seen as they are. You have the Queen of Swords, somebody who says, okay, well, I'll listen to what you got to say, but then I ain't going to sit there and just be like, all oh, y'all have fun, like, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to listen to what you have to say, and if it makes any sense, then I might heed your words. <clears throat> I think you're about to have an epiphany, 
in your mind about everything that's happened, why it's going on, why it's happened this way in the first place. All has crowning the reading. It's like the divine's trying to get you to work with other people and become a master builder in some sort of circumstance situation in your life. Bottom of that deck is justice, which is beautiful. We love that energy. Divine justice stepping in. Truths being spoken. Weighing the scales of justice. If you felt things haven't been fair, speak up and say so. You cannot be afraid this week to use your truth. You can be afraid or to, to speak your truth. You can be afraid of what happens. But, yeah. On the outset of you using your truth. Speaking your truth. But don't, don't be afraid to speak your truth. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. That's excellent. So get in a positive mindset because they're saying you need to be in a positive mindset in order to bring the positive your way. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So what this is telling me is that something might come in that is celebratory it, it's amazing absolutely amazing and you very well may be still sitting back there going well how is it amazing why is it amazing <laughs> you see what i'm saying just accept the amazing that's going to come your way the divine has a plan here that's why the sun card is here to bring clarity to show you what the plan forward is tell me about now that you have asked the angels for guidance or for help, be open to receiving divine guidance. Tell me about that card. About being able to put down the burdens about when the cycle's going to end. Asking the divine as to how to make this come about. How do I end the cycle? How do I step into a new one? I feel as though you're tired. You're so over it. I feel that even if this Ace of Cups option does come your way, you have so many options surrounding it that I don't even know if you'd see it terribly well. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. It's going to take great strength and courage to make it happen. You could be dealing with a Leo. A Leo, a Leo child. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Maybe someone's been offering you this Ace of Cups for a while. Capricorn energy. For the Taurus Capricorn. New love opportunity or the, the opportunity, it's a new job, new home, new life, new you. It really could be about you stepping into whatever that means. There's something about a tower moment involved there. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you should go watch that as well. Buckling down and putting in the work. You see, this Queen of Swords here, she's not all there just to cut everything out. She's also there to put in the work. But what she's going to work on has to seem or feel viable, if that makes any sense. Or she's not going to put any work in at all. Which is why she sits there with her sword. And when you come to her, she may very well may feel like a cold person. It's like there's intrepidation. All right, or intrepidation, intrepidation, I don't know, whatever, however that word is. My nose is itchy today. You might be having someone around you who's telling a tall tale or has a lot of allergies. <laughs> Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill. But first, you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at this some special place and where poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you, and to risk standing apart from the crowd, to listen to your soul. You are special, as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world, individual, yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment, when we are saying you are on the right track. Even if your ego self doesn't see that, listen to your soul, check in with spirit, and keep going. Spirit loves you, life loves you, and we love you. I love you guys. Blessings to you.